So, um, Sybil the scientist, her memory trigger is a magnifying glass. And so I would use the magnifying glasses that the first grade teachers had in their science kit, their little miniature magnifying glasses. That's what we used. But there's, there's one that Pam made, and then there's also a pattern in the book where you can make a three-dimensional one out of paper, which is a really neat activity to do with them. But the, um, the chant that we did with Sybil the scientist is we held our magnifying glasses. If they had them already, they could hold them or they could pretend. And we said, everybody hold your magnifying glass. We study the parts of things, then use rules to put them into groups. To put them into groups. And the word classify is introduced in the lesson. And so every time they would hear me say the word classify, or I said, anytime you hear anyone say the word classify, if it's your teacher or your parents, always when you hear that word, you want to say, to put them into groups. To put them into groups. And so as we would do the lessons on Sybil's um, thinking, they would do that little chant. And so they, they began to learn you know, what classification means in the scientific thinking process. Hi, my name is Dodie Merritt, and this is the Primary Education Thinking Skills Program, or PETS as we like to call it. It focuses on the 21st century skills of critical and creative thinking. My colleagues and I bring together over 65 years of experience in the classrooms in putting together a variety of activities in six units that focus on visual, convergent, divergent, and evaluative thinking for primary students.